The ASX reporting season is well and truly underway. In this week's Investor Spotlight, we put CSL's results under the microscope. And to help me do that, Danny Akuye, my colleague at AusBiz, joins me now. Danny, great to see you today, of course. Uh, okay, so we've got CSL reporting on the 15th of August. What do we expect from these numbers? Okay, first things first, everyone needs to understand that the company downgraded expectations for full year 23 and full year 24 on June 14th. So we are going into these results with the market having been prepped for some Forex losses for this year and also a downgrade into next year. However, the most important things, around sort of four points, basically margin improvement on the blood plasma business bearing, which was heavily impacted by the pandemic. Then they also will be looking for further reassurance about some of those specialty blood plasma products, which are potentially seeing some competition coming from a Dutch company called Argents. So they'll be looking for more colour on that, whether or not that is going to impact what is called their CIDP products. Now, the other thing is the upcoming flu season in the Northern Hemisphere, which is really important for Sequiris, their flu vaccine business and then they'll be looking for Vifor, the acquisition that was made in 2022, the Swiss business, how the integration is going there, how their iron products are doing and also there's a new drug called CSL112 which is a uh, one to prevent recurrent cardiovascular events. So the market will also be looking to that. But uh, yeah, so it's quite a big report for CSL. Yeah, absolutely. So plenty to sink our teeth into. But um, what are the brokers saying? Yeah, so the brokers, of course, there was a big downgrade, circa um, 12 to 17% for full year 24. And that set the share price down about 17%. However, we are looking for anywhere between 14 and 18% earnings growth for full year 24. Just worth noting that broadly, the, the mean, the average price target is around that $320, $328 dollars per, on the share price compared to around $360. 262, 262, 265 currently. Uh, Jardins and Wilsons are very bullish, overweight rating, share price targets sort of above $330. And uh, just worth noting that really the whole suite of brokers are pretty much sitting either in an, a strong buy overweight position or a buy. There's literally one sell and two holds out there at the moment. Yeah, and from the, the technical analysis point of view, of course, uh, the stock price trading at the bottom end of that uh, range from the last few years. But uh, let's just talk about what's, uh, what to look out for going forward. Uh, what's the outlook for CSL? Okay, so CSL has really been in a sweet spot for the last uh, five, six years. They've been expanding uh, their blood plasma collection centres in the United States. They were collecting plasma at very appealing prices. And they do invest about half of their cash flow into uh, new developments. So for them, they were heavily impacted by the pandemic. That's really important for people to understand. So it's taken a while for that blood plasma collection to move up again. And that has been the driver of earnings and the share price return. Now it's up to CSL to start to get some runs on the board with Vifor and also these other new drugs that they have in the pipeline. But historically, this company has had an amazing track record of making great acquisitions like Sequiris, which they've been able to integrate, add a lot of earnings uh, benefit and value and also share price performance. So, the market is now looking at this as a great entry point on a multiple valuation basis. CSL is right at the lower end of where it typically trades at around 28, 30 times prospective earnings and it can trade as high as 40 times. So still a great quality company, big cash flow generator. It's just they've had a bit of a bump in the road. All will be revealed on the 15th of August, of course. But Danny, thank you so much for helping us preview those CSL results. Pleasure. Well, that does it for this edition of Investor Spotlight. Tune in next week where we'll put another investment theme under the spotlight.